All right, man. I know why I'm here. I'm gonna ask y'all questions. I mean, y'all question that y'all been asking me on why I stopped uh, being a part of or working with uh, Dirty and Red. And uh, I, mean, I ain't gonna try to take up too much too much of y'all's time. But, um, you know, I'm gonna say the pros, I'm gonna say the cons, and I'm gonna say, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna say both sides. You know, I ain't just gonna sit here and just act like I was perfect or whatever, but um where i'll start uh so pretty much like at the beginning before uh like right when i was when when, when we were gonna separate i was, like i told him it, everything was on good terms i was like yo like i got a better opportunity of doing something else you know what i'm saying working at home getting paid more cheese so he was like cool you know what i'm saying what do we do then uh, uh certain things started happening and then i was just like it started throwing me off. So, like I'm saying, um, I've been knowing, I've been on dirty for a long time, years, 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 since probably like 20, like 16, 17. But me getting paid from what I was doing recently happened last year. And it was because like before that, I was doing a whole bunch of BS that I shouldn't have been doing. You know, I, I was going down the wrong path. I'd have probably been locked up for real. Um, so I was like, I need to start doing something else. You know what I mean? Like I, this ain't, this, it, uh, it, it just wasn't a path that I wanted to continue chasing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm trying to change my whole route. So I'm like, yo, like, let me know. Like I'll start, I'll, I'll start doing this recording or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can pay me for it. What do you want? So boom, we come to an agreement and everything's smooth, you know, um, and then, at first I was just recording. So then we, we buy a camera. So everything is, you, now you gotta edit. Now you gotta do this, now you gotta do that. So boom, I'm telling him like, buy a laptop, I'll, I'll try to learn how to edit. Cause the dude that was gonna edit the videos was charging him like $1,000 or $1,500 for one video. And I mean, that, that's that's the, that, that's what it costs. But in his eyes, like, nah, that's too much. So, I'm telling him, like, just buy a laptop, I'm gonna learn how to do it. So, boom, long story short, um, I learned how to do it, like, in two days, bro. In, like, two days. Then he's like, I'm, I'm gonna pay you for the editing. And I'm like, all right, cool. So, he's, we're, we're, I'm doing this. And then, like, I start telling him, like, hey, bro, like, um, after, after what you pay me after after I pay my bills and everything I don't have you know some money to play with so he's like finally he's like all right bet look I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you more money I, I I've been doing good on the video so I got you da, da, da. I'm gonna give you a red more more bread I'm like cool so then boom time starts going by and it's like have have a dirty as a friend it, it's a cool thing but working with him is some totally different totally different it'd be like some shit like. It'd be some shit like, I'd be like 10 minutes. And he'd be like, damn, bro, you late? And I'm like, bro, it's 10 minutes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just 10 minutes. And like, yeah, but you're still late. It could be one minute. And he'd be like, bro, you still like, da, da, da. I'm like, all right, I understand, bro. It ain't that big of a deal. And then he'll just keep like, but it is a big of a deal. You're late. And I'm like, but I just be like, like, this shit's crazy to me. Like, it'd be the littlest shit. And they'll turn into a big ass argument. Like, it'd be about your motherfucking shoelaces and tied. And I'd just be like, oh, what the fuck? Like, throughout time, I was like, I can't. This ain't some shit I could deal with for a long time. Then it was like, every day we recorded in Houston, we'd be in my car. And say we recorded five days a week, right? Out of the five days, it'd be one day for sure. It's maybe two that he'll give me some gas money. And throughout time, I wasn't even tripping, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm having fun with this shit. Like, this shit really is fun. Like, recording watching the reactions and all this and that, like, this shit's cool. But throughout time, like, I started doing math and here and there, I'm like, bro, this shit, it, you know, it ain't, it ain't, it don't seem right. And it's just like, I'm already using my car. I got to pump gas too. And I got a V8, so I'm burning hella gas. And we driving around the entire city. So I'm just like, man, like, you know what I mean? And this, this goes forward to, forward to like, 
when it'd it be times that he did, that we'll argue and then he'll be like, man, you ain't never done a favor for me. You ain't never done a, not one favor. Da, da, da. He's like, only time you do something for me is when I pay you. Woody, woody, woody. So yeah, in my head, I'll be like, bro, like, do you not know every, every day we go record, I'm doing a favor using my car and, 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 and I'm pumping gas. But I just never, I never the type of person to just bring up a favor, count no favors, none of that. Obviously, everyone knows what they do, you know what I mean? So, it's like, you're going to remember what you do for a person. You just, it's on you to say it or throw it in their face or not. But now he's always telling, like, I ain't that type of person, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't count for it. I don't speak on them. And he'd be like, nah, it's just because you don't do nothing, so you can't name one. And I'd just be like, all right, bro, it's cool. So then, go. Do all the time. Like, I was just getting fed up with that with that situation. Now, like, bro, I ain't, like... I told him, like, hey, bro, I can't use my car no more. And he was like, oh, so how are we going to record then? We can't get around. So it's just like, you got to use your car. And then I was like, I was just getting more and more fed up. Then when we would travel, it'd be some times where I'm like, hey, bro, I can't. he'd be like, hey, let's, let's go let's go next week. And I'm like, I can't. I got something to do. Or I have to go spend some time with my family or something. He'd be like, man, that's another trip you, you making this miss out on. da 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 He's like, I'm gonna start making y'all pay for y'all's own trips, the flights and the rooms. And I'm like, bro, you own this business. We're technically your employees. I've never even heard of that. The employee paying to travel, to go work. Like no business on this planet earth makes their employees pay for their travel expenses. No business. And he would swear up and down that they do. I'd be like, bro, that's, that doesn't, that's not true. So then it was that kind of stuff. And then uh, after a while, I'm just like, bro, like, uh, it, I ain't going to be able to do this for too long. Like, And like I said, like, everything wasn't always just bad. It was just like when I started working. When we was friends, everything was smooth. I'd be like, and, and I'll, I'll keep it real. It'd be times I'd be like, yo, I need some bread. You, you, can, let, you can lend me some bread and I'll give you back this. And he'd be like, yeah, I got you. Boom. He'll give it to me. And I'd come up short. And it wouldn't even be a major problem, but he'll be on some like, you know, I need the money, and I'm like, I got you, bro. Let me, let me, let me try to get it. Da da da. Like, I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying he's just a wrong person. It's just working with him is like, I don't know. Like, I can't explain it. So then, mainly, so that was the one of the main things. The me using my car every day, having to pump gas, like it blew me. The second thing that stuck to me was we was in San Francisco. Or, or, or Sacramento or whatever, <clears throat> we riding around and uh, uh, he he records me doing something and I'm like, I have the towel on obviously like in front of my privacy, but he and I'm like, but naked, he posted on Snap. I didn't, I really didn't care, but I was just like, man, delete it, like you know what I'm saying, fucking with him. He like he like you deleted, you got my password because he's going in the hotel. And I'm like, cool. So boom, I deleted off his story, but on his story he has like two stories. So in my mind. I just deleted it, right? And in his mind, he, I, I, it slipped me, but he knows that he has two stories. He's like, you ain't deleted it. And I'm like, yeah, I did. He's like, what you want to bet? So in my mind, I'm so sure that I deleted it, right? So I'm, I'm like, bet whatever, bet whatever. But in his mind, he knows, like he knows 100% that I didn't delete off the other story. So he's like, I'm like, bet. it started like at 20, I'm like, bet 100. And he's like, you don't want to do that? I'm like, bet 1,000. And I got my hand out. And he's like pulling his hand back. So I'm like, yeah, like I'm calling his, in my mind, I'm calling his bluff. Then I'm like, bet 500. And my hand's still out there. And he's like, all right, bet. And then I'm like, I'm so shocked. Cause I'm like, you really just bet me and you're going to lose? But in his mind, the whole time, he was already up one on me. You feel me? So he shows me. And then we all just laughing. And then I'm like, I'm laughing, but I'm like, this shit really not funny. Like, you really just finesse me. Cause I know I'm gonna have to pay you this money. You ain't finna just be like, nah, I was good on the five. And then I'm just like, bro, like what type of shit? And then, cause I'm thinking the whole time in my head, I'm like, I wouldn't even do that type of shit. You feel me? And if I did, right after I did it, I'd be like, nah, you don't owe me. I'm just fucking with you, da, 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 da. But it never happened. So the whole time we riding around, just thinking about this shit, like, dad, this nigga, I mean, this, this dude was for real, like, he really hit me for that five, and I'm like, I feel finessed. I'm like, you really just finessed me. And the other two people that was with us, they was even like, 
I'm not gonna say too much, but they even agreed to what I was saying, like, like, yeah, that's pretty much what it was, like, like that we were shocked too or whatever. But I ain't gonna say too much on that. So I'm just like, damn. So long story short, he's like, oh, I'll, I'll let you win some of that money back in some bets. Da 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 da. I ended up winning like two hundred dollars back. I ended up owing him like thirty. <clears throat> so boom, that's the second thing that really stuck with me. And then the third thing was was like, so I had owed him like seven, seven something, seven, seven something. And technically, I get paid three hundred dollars for each video, right? So we get done with the videos that I owed him for what he paid me for, and then I owe him like seven something. So I get paid three hundred dollars each for every video. I'm like, yo, let's do three videos and I don't owe you that money, and then we're done from there. He's like, alright, cool. So so I owe him seven, but I'm pretty much giving you nine hundred. He's like, cool. So upon we finish the videos, I give him the equipment. He's like, yo, can you help me out? I'm about to turn myself in. Monday or whatever, whatever day it was, he's like, can you record for me and I'll pay you for it. I'm like, cool, like no biggie. Uh, boom, he comes, picks me up at nine in the morning and we, we going at it all the way till five in the afternoon, almost six. But I have an appointment to get to right to this apartment that I'm finna move in. So I'm like, yo, I got a dip. But we had already finished the video. He just, all he had to get was the piece of, you know what I'm saying? Him getting, I guess, putting put on handcuffs or whatever and walking through the door. So Red's recording, Red ends up getting caught. And um, Red ends up getting caught, they told him to put the camera down. So regardless, I would've got caught. They would've told me to put the camera down. So I'm like, I start hitting him up like, yo, what's up with the, you know, what's up with the cheese for that, for that video, that last video we just did, da, da, da. And he's just like, oh, um, you left, we didn't finish the video, but we already had a full video. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I had to go, woody, woody, woo. And I'm like, uh, regardless, Ray got caught. I would've got caught. It would've been the same situation, just me there. He's just like, nah, you know, you wouldn't have got caught. Woo. And I'm just like, so I'm not getting paid for it. He's like, yeah, but we, we can't re-record that video. Like, just beating around the bush. So then he's like, yo, help help me out. Like, show me how to edit the videos, do the website. Da -da -da. I'm like, cool, I got you. So long story short, I'm like helping him how to do everything, and I'm still asking him like, "Yo, what's up with the money?" He just like, "We'll talk about that after. We'll talk about that after." And I'm just like, I'm just fed up to where I was just like, "Look, I just in the mess." I'm like, "Look, bro, I'm I'm done helping you. God bless you. Like, I'm keep asking you about this money. You beating around the bush. Da da da." I'm like, "It's cool. Go about your business. Go about your way." And I was just like, "Bro, when I did that, it was like." It was like, I've been locked up for 50 years and just got out the penitentiary, like, big old weight off my shoulders, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, all right, no exaggeration at all. And it was just, another thing too, it, it was just so much, and, and I finally felt like, woof. And everything, don't get me wrong, everything was cool being around the fans, they started to know who I was, like, it's a cool feeling, but it's just like, man, when you dealing with some BS, you ain't gonna wanna, it don't matter how much you get paid or who you around or how famous you are. Like that's the type of person I am. I don't care how much money I get paid for some. I don't care how much fame I get. If if I don't, if I don't like the environment or I don't like something, I ain't gonna be there. Like I can't fake it. I just can't. And it was like back to the um. I never did a favor for him before him before or every time I did something, I got paid for it. But I was working. So, so the, the girl that made the website, she had worked on it for like a couple of weeks, and he was paying her. He had paid her like thousands for it, but I had did the whole website thing for like two months, never got one dollar from it, not one dollar at all, like at all, like no exaggeration. So that that's what I'm saying. That goes back to that favorite thing. So pretty much, like I'm pretty much doing you a favor every single time that I'm doing something for that website, but you swear I ain't never did not one favor for you at all, not one. And it was just like, I was just like, man, like that, 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 that was it too. Cause it was just like, after we record, I got to come home. I got to edit a video. Boom. I got to control the website. It's like, I ain't have no personal life at all. And then on top of that, I'm dealing with all the other BS. So I was just like, I, mean, I just can't, I just couldn't do it no more. But yeah, like I said, I mean, you would a good, per a good friend to have, you know what I'm saying? Once I started working with him, it was a whole different situation. Like, totally different. Totally different. 
it was just something that I could, I, I was so sure I like, just so put up with. And as far as with, with Ray, I know y'all going, y'all, y'all, y'all were going to ask if I would have never said nothing, but, um, Red, he, he he's very confusing at times, but when it's a one-on-one thing, when it's just me and Red, when this is me and Red talking or doing anything, that's that's when you get the 100% Red, like pure, kind person. He gonna really he gonna really talk some 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 good sense, speak some facts. But I'm never gonna talk about the shit we, me and him, talked about. Cause you know what I'm saying those are private conversations that only me and him had, and it's in this stuff that I'll never, you know what I'm saying, pretty much repeat. But it's like he's confusing to me at some time, confused, confusing to me sometimes because it's just like when there's other people around, or or, or 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 when we're around other people, it's just a whole different red, and I'm just like, I don't get it. But then I started to get it, and I started to realize, like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I understand Red now. You know what I mean? And, and me and Red, privately, one-on-one, like, we, we've agreed on a lot. A lot, a lot. Probably didn't disagree much on a lot of shit either. But we've agreed on a lot, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, everybody is their own person. So whatever you say you're going to do, that's on you if you do it. That's on you if you, you, you go about it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I ain't gonna speak much on what what, what, uh, what me and him spoke about. The, those that's just for me and him to know. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I ain't like I ain't here to be bashing on nobody, trying to just make someone look wrong. Like I, I said, both I said the bad, the wrongs on both ends. You know what I'm saying? The type of person I, I felt like he was. He thought I was lazy. Did this and that. I mean that's that's his opinion. I have my opinion, but I'm just pretty much here to just answer y'all's question. That's pretty much all it is. It ain't no biggie, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. I bet the worst, but it is. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to do my own thing on YouTube. I ain't just going 100% follow that prank route. Route. I might I might do pranks here and there, but I got I got something else planned that I want to do, and I'm gonna try to follow through with it, see how that goes. But I mean, me, I I've been naturally funny since high school. I've always been a comedian, so I know regardless, whatever I choose to do, I could do some good with it. You know what I mean? But I mean, comment down below if you got any questions, any other questions I might do talk about this again maybe like on a live or something you know what i mean just ask whatever i'm gonna I'm, I'm read them for sure or i'll just respond to y'all on there it ain't it ain't it ain't no issue but yeah there it goes pretty much answering y'all's question y'all been asking me peace